My name is Robert Weeks. I'm a mixed martial artist and personal trainer. Today I'm at Main Event Sports Club and I'm going to be teaching you about weightlifting exercises for tall people. Okay guys, when it comes to uh, tall people, I'm going to use the uh, height of 6'2 to 6'3 and above. The reason for that matter is, is the average person is anywhere between 5'8 to f uh, 6 feet in height. Anywhere in between there is the average person. Um, the uh, taller person seems to have not as much comfort in the gym as, let's say, his counterpart of a foot to a half a foot shorter. The reason for this is, is because the bone structure is obviously a lot different. Uh, each bone is obviously elongated a little bit more, and because of that, uh, leverage is a little bit different. This does not make uh, taller people uh, inacceptable uh, to weightlifting or does not allow them to grow properly. What this does is just means that they have to uh, direct their uh, weightlifting approaches in a different manner than, let's say, their counterpart a few inches shorter. Ones we're going to be looking at today for a taller person is stuff that they can do without actually having to really uh, use a lot of that gawkiness of their body against them. One we're going to be looking at today is going to be the uh, standing squat with the medicine weight. Another one I'm going to be showing you is going to be the weighted pull-up. First, we're going to get into the weighted pull-up. The weighted pull-up is very good because what this does is this uses your own body weight and it also uses the added body weight that you add onto the chain to uh, create uh, shoulder strength and also trapezius strength and also your littoral strength. Uh, for tall people, this is really good for them because it takes a lot of weight off of their back. Doing this weight right here, you're actually using uh, your biggest muscles in your upper body, your back and your arms, to, to pick yourself up while your feet dangle and control your midsection. Do sets of anywhere between 8 to 10, and make sure you force out your repetitions anywhere between 15 and 20 of these. The next exercise I want to show you is a variation of a squat with the medicine weight. This isn't your basic squat. The basic squat can be kind of constricting, and, it, and it's actually generated more for somebody with smaller appendages than, let's say, uh, their counterparts that are a lot taller. Um, what you pretty much do here is you allow yourself to have a little bit bigger stance in your shoulders. For this, for a taller person, it's a lot more important, and it allows them to generate a little bit more power from their hips. You're pretty much going to rest the weight on your arms, and you're going to bring it up, and you're going to keep your arms in front of you the whole time, almost as if you're trying to raise it up like a shirt. You're trying to uh, knock the dust off a shirt in front of you, or a beach towel for that matter. After you do that, you're then going to pivot your body back down onto the ground in a squat-like motion with your arm once again kind of going in a circular motion back towards the ground. And then what you're going to do is you're going to switch up your other arm for your next rep. So once you get done doing a set of 10 for one arm, you're going to then switch over to your next set for your, your other arm, and you're going to do 10 more. And you're going to do this in anywhere of, uh, of sets to 10 sets, and you're going to rep it out. You want to do repetitions of anywhere between 8 to 15 reps of these, depending on how much weight you do and your uh, endurance level. And those are some weightlifting exercises for tall people. See you next time.